China's growing global footprint is not confined to one region alone. Closer to the U.S. and much to its discomfort, Beijing has broken ground in Central America with Honduras establishing diplomatic relations with China and severing ties with longtime ally Taiwan. A huge blow to D.C. and to Taipei. This could change dynamics in what is known as America's backyard and serves as a stumbling block to Taiwan's efforts to be recognized as a state. China has used its economic might to cement its strategic interests. In the case of Honduras, the two sides were in talks for a while. But according to Taiwan's foreign minister, Joseph Wu, the Honduran foreign minister in a letter had demanded a total of $2.45 billion in aid, including to build a hospital and dam and to write off debt. Honduras has seen another part of the world, especially Asia and China, is a very important international player. So we need to be close to these possibilities to seek benefits for the Honduran people. Honduras's establishment of bilateral relations with China is a political decision that is based on the one China principle and without any preconditions. China highly appreciates this. Diplomatic ties are not something for trade. There isn't a single big power that has formal relations with Taiwan. Most continue to endorse the One China principle as a widely accepted basic norm in international relations and a common understanding of the global community. In fact, Honduras, an important country in Central America, is facing an outstanding problem in development. For the United States, Latin America is critical in securing its own strategic and security interests and therefore the Monroe Doctrine is always cited. What is the Monroe Doctrine? Promulgated to contain European expansionism in the Western Hemisphere, the doctrine served to ensure no hostile interference against the US. The United States would not get involved in European affairs. The United States would not interfere with the existing European colonies in the Western Hemisphere. No other nation could form a new colony in the Western Hemisphere. If a European nation tried to control or interfere with a nation in the Western Hemisphere, the United States would view it as a hostile act against their nation. The recent move by Honduras could have a deep impact in Central America and the cost of it would be for Taiwan to bear which now only has formal diplomatic relations with 13 countries. Mostly poor and developing countries in Central America, the Caribbean and the Pacific.